My name is Rob Grossclose, and I'm the police chief for the city of Mustang. Mustang is a uh, it's a 12 square mile uh, bedroom community located inside Oklahoma City, just west of Will Rogers Airport. We service approximately 22,000 people crammed into that 12 square miles, if you can imagine. The most dangerous thing you can do in the state of Oklahoma in most states is drive a vehicle. We ask our officers to not only drive the vehicle, but operate several different systems, including radar, a computer, radio. They've got a lot of things going on at one time. So anything that we can minimize in their daily activities and keep them focused on the road to keep themselves and other drivers safe is, is the direction we want to go. If you expect an officer to drive a vehicle at 45, 55 miles an hour and reach down and, and type a tag number into a computer, that's not ideal for how we want to be operating a vehicle on a road. When I found out that GTAC was offering pilot program to work with AI, I took full advantage of it because I knew that from my role here, it offers a great tool to patrol, obviously, um, but it also, from my staff, it, it frees up their time um, because the officer is more capable about using the equipment they have in the cars and to use the tools they have at hand that they might not be using it to the fullest potential right now. DTAC F2. Ready. F8-4. Expired registration. We're using the AI voice technology in a, in a pretty cool way. We're able to run driver's license information and license plate information while we're on the move. So while I'm driving around uh, in our city, I can give a voice command to be able to run a license plate without ever having to take my eyes off the road and be able to see a return within seconds. I think there's a pretty large officer safety growth that we have seen just for the fact that we could run license plates by using our voice now instead of having to use our fingers and our hands. So being able to use the voice command function to be able to type reports um, has been pretty useful in the field. It's nice to be able to, to give it a command and to quickly and accurately give a, uh, a quick supplement to report again without having to leave my car, without having to type it. I made contact with the driver identified as Frank Steve and informed him of the reason for the stop. I asked him for his driver's license and insurance information and he was unable to provide either, saying that his driver's license status in Oklahoma was suspended. The AI uh, speech and the noise reduction has been a, a fantastic thing. The typical noises in a patrol car, the squeaks and the radar and the radio that you're hearing, uh, all of those things are being able to be filtered out. The speech recognition program, it learns your voice. It knows who you are and it only listens to you. F2. Ready. FS56. Expired registration. So the dog function with the GTAC tablet is very firm in its, in its cradle, connects us to our dispatch sitter, and everything connects automatically so we don't have to worry about multiple elements of connectivity. When you look at the AI, uh, the real big benefit of this is being able to Hello. simplify what the officers can do in the car, because they've already had to do that historically. Unless you're big enough and it dictates actually having another officer with you, we train everyone to operate at the solo level. And by being able to have that AI with them to help assist them with their job, they're able to concentrate on what's in front of them without having to operate a, a different machine beside them like they would have to do. It adds another tool that creates less distraction. It started at the beginning of our CAD and the implementation. We had GTAC on site with us whenever we were having troubles because again, we were entering a, a new era of technology that was here. I think being able to take that leap and to try something new really came on the foundation of knowing that over the, more than the past five years, we have a proven track record with the company. We know that GTAC was with us from the beginning. Uh, we know that if we run into problems, we know exactly who to contact for help. And it seems like every year, uh, technology continues to, to, to grow and evolve. When I started out writing paper tickets, uh, to think that you would be able to write a ticket and have it print out was, uh, was kind of absurd. It was really a futuristic thought. I think that they're always growing, they're always uh, modernizing it, uh, making it better for the officer. In return, that makes us safer, that makes us better. Uh, this, this role as a police officer evolves, uh, and I think GTEC's assisting us in that. The most impactful thing that I, I believe this brings is Again, the officer keeps his eyes on the road and his hands on the steering wheel while 
still able to perform his police functions and run tags. He can operate various commands with the computer with his safety and, and the motoring public safety is the number one priority. I think the uses are, are, are endless. The more we can do with our voices while we're driving, the better off we're going to be, the more safe we're going to be. I would hope to be able to do everything with voice command to where that makes our job safer, where we can keep our eyes on the road and keep our eyes on suspects, which in return will help more cops go home every night.